welcome to my kitchen. Okay, you guys, I am in a new location. <laughs> and I'm also starting a new series. So this is the first episode of my new series, Food for Thought. So I had this idea months ago, and of course I'm just now filming it, but I wanted a video series where not only we could do recipes, but we could also talk about food and just our, our thoughts around food. I feel like food is just, I mean, it's important, but it's also deeper than that. You know me, I gotta go the extra mile. I can't ever make anything too simple. This episode, I am taking you guys along with me and my friend Bria on a food exploration. Okay, so let's just, hold on, let me just talk for a moment about my friend Bria. So my girlfriend Bria is amazing. She's a local content creator, blogger, vlogger, entrepreneur, girl boss, she's amazing. And so I called her up and I was like, Bria, we need to go to lunch. We haven't hung out for a while. Also, starting this new food series. Also, let's go eat. Also, let's film ourselves eating. So Bria has been dabbling in the plant-based world, vegetarian, pescatarian for the last few months. Y'all know that I've been dabbling in the plant-based world as well. I am not full-time vegan either, but I really do enjoy eating plant-based. So we wanted to go and see if we could eat at a few restaurants here in Kansas City and um, find some really yummy plant-based options. Now, I love my city, but Kansas City is not necessarily known as like the plant-based mecca of the world. I mean, we are getting there though. So we thought we would take on the challenge of trying out two restaurants and seeing what we could order. So I'm taking you guys along with me on the first restaurant. And the second restaurant experience is actually gonna be on Bria's channel. So be sure to head to the link in the description box after you watch this video and check out our other restaurant experience on her channel. Um, we had a lot of fun, let me just say, like eating and filming and just talking, it was really fun. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with the footage. Why do I talk so much? <laughs> I'm new to the YouTube universe, so Britt is literally like someone I've been looking up to and I'm so glad that our paths crossed. <laughs> no, really, she's the best and you guys know it, that's why you follow her. But um, no, I'm really excited. We've been talking about collabing for like quite some time now, so this is like groundbreaking, so excited. Okay, so we need to figure out what we're ordering and then yeah. I want to chat with you about your thoughts on food, but we won't get into that yet. We'll wait for our drinks to get here before we okay. get too deep. No, I'm just And then what's I something you normally get? Oh, they change their menu, so I don't know. I always get the kale guacamole. Ooh, for the let's starters. try that. Let's try that. You'll love it. Okay, let's do that. This Food for Thought series, I I did a poll on Instagram to ask people what they thought about food. Yeah. And there are so many different opinions about food and like our relationship with food. And yeah. so I guess I just want to ask, like, your plant based, what made you decide to make the switch? Or just dabble in it? Yeah. So initially it was environmental stuff. Okay. So yeah, why I went plant based. Um I initially it was like the cruelty mm -hmm. stuff that got to me with animals. Um also I had just been reading a whole lot on the meat that we have, how not great it is for yeah. you. Um when I was eating meat for like a couple years I got really into just the idea of having like grass fed mm -hmm. okay. cruelty free type of meat where I knew like it was being where it was being made better in like local types of production. So that was where I went, you know, initially and then I really just naturally stopped eating meat. So I was like, I feel like if I'm kind of on the cusp of eating meat anyways, that it would just be easier to give it up. Yeah. Um, one thing I do eat a lot, I still eat fish. Mm -hmm. So, but my logic with what I eat now is if I can kill it myself, I'll eat it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank Thank you. you. And how stunning oh. this cocktail is. Oh my is. gosh, I don't even to drink it. Of course, Cheers. we're gonna have to take pictures. We're gonna pretend to Oh yeah, it, should we try a thumbnail with this one? Yeah, maybe. Me, I am not full-time vegan yet. Um, I am. I call myself plant-based because I feel like vegan is more of a lifestyle. Yeah. But I do eat like usually Sunday through Friday, and then Saturday is my day off. But yeah. I've noticed when I have an off day, my body feels like crap, and it's hard to come back from that. Right. So I'm almost thinking of dropping the off day. Though. 
How have you felt? Like, how has your body felt since switching? Yeah. So it, it's been really interesting um, because so when I first started, I I went from vacation to vegan, which oh wow, not I don't recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> um, like my body almost like a drug detox no. went into yeah. like a weird shock, and so for about a week straight, I was lightheaded, I was dizzy, um, I I had migraines like the entire week. Mm -hmm. So, but that a lot of that was on me. And when I took out a lot of the stuff I was eating, especially after vacation when I was going mm -hmm. crazy, mm -hmm. I wasn't compensating for like the nutrients that I wasn't getting. I was doing a lot of meat substitutes. So while meat substitutes are great options to have, you still need to make sure you're getting those plants and you're you're taking supplements, taking vitamins. So now every morning I have a green smoothie, which I put banana, mango, and spinach in it so that my iron levels are better and I take a multivitamin. So it, it's kind of something you want to wean yourself into and I think like another thing, at first I wasn't trying to cook. Mm. That was a problem. Yeah. It is so, more work. It is more, because last week I ate like crap because I didn't prep anything, I didn't yeah. have anything, and I was like, okay, yeah, you have to prepare. Yes. So what I, what, you know, Sunday night is my night to really figure out what I'm doing for the week, and then I do my grocery shopping on Mondays, so I know what we're having for dinner. Breakfast is easy because it's a smoothie, lunch is pretty easy for me, and sometimes I might just snack, have protein bar, protein shake, mm -hmm. um, but knowing what I'm going to have for dinner is the most important part, really, that's been keeping me consistent. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to share everything, and I think we're going to do, you wanted to start with the, the kale guacamole. Kale guacamole, yes. Really good, one of my favorites. And then we have one to do the tomato and arugula pizza and we'll add that ricotta almond yes. situation. That yep. sounds amazing. So it's not your everyday guacamole. It's got like kale in it apparently. It smells like kale. It's got grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Cilantro, sunflower seeds, lime. I like it's got that. So much in it. I like that. And you know, Kansas City is not huge. We're getting better, but we're not huge on the plant-based scene. So when True Fruits Kitchen rolled up, I was jazzed because I was like, this is another option for us. And they have other food that's not just plant-based as well. I mean, they have like meat options. Too, okay. So, but it's nice to go to a place that has so many options yeah. that are like really good. My God. Oh my God! Oh man, this is crazy. I'm really impressed. I feel like it's really hard to do plant-based pizza. I'm gonna be honest, like without cheese. <laughs> and I haven't found a vegan cheese that I like. This is better than the vegan cheese that I've had. It is really good. Had the best time eating oh my goodness so shout out to Bria good. So for being good. the first on my series I'm you honored forgot. I'm so honored I love it um we are actually going to another restaurant so you guys need to go to the description box below head to Bria's channel because part two of this video is gonna be on her channel come here and out. we're about to go eat more food I'm not even gonna tell you where we're going but it's not a vegan plant-based place but we're still gonna eat plant-based I love you thanks for being on my channel <laughs> Okay, hi. I just ran into Monica. She came to say hi. Hi. Oh, you are gorgeous, gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. Look at, she is slaying. Look at you slaying. Absolutely slaying. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So, my mom. Hi, mom. Hi. I just wanted to say hi. Thank oh you so much for all of you. Thank you for watching. You are such a sweetheart. I love meeting people. Thank you guys. So, I'm going to go. Okay, I'm sorry. Come yeah. on. You can eat. Girl, put us to work. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh my God. Oh. Did y'all see your famous internet mom? 
She is the cutest. No, I can't. I get really goals. excited though. <laughs> so Actually, awkward. goals. Okay, you guys, so that is all. We obviously had an amazing time at True Fruits Kitchen, and um, I would highly recommend it if you have one in the area. Be sure to check out our second restaurant experience over on Bree's channel. We went to a delicious Mexican restaurant, um, and, it, and this restaurant was not vegan at all, um, but we, I mean, hint, hint, we had a good time. Also, subscribe to Bree's channel. Show her some love. You guys are amazing. One thing, I don't even know if I got this on camera at all, but she was just like, uh, your followers are so amazing and so supportive and so sweet. And I, I just want to spread that love to her channel. So be sure when you head over to watch that video to subscribe, leave a comment, leave all that love that you guys bring to everything. Um, you guys are amazing. Leave in the comments below any ideas or videos you would like to see on this series. I see this series definitely being recipe videos. Hint, hint. I have some really good ones on the way. But I also see it being um, a place for us to talk about food and a place to talk about life, um, thus food for thought. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye. Why? Just, why? Why do I always feel like I need to do something with my art?